In the 13th century, a civilization would be forged right here in this valley. They would be of the Mogonyong culture, and they would settle in what would become known as the Gila Cliff Dwellings. Hidden deep in the Gila National Forest are ancient dwellings. Known as the Cliff Dwellings, these impressive ruins belong to the Mogonyon culture. As the sun rose over the mountains, we began our hike through the valley. This bridge right here leads to the uh, Gila Cliff Dwellings. It's part of the hiking trail. And it is absolutely gorgeous out here. It is beautiful. And look at that. It's a little smoky right now because there's a forest fire. That's okay. We are continuing our trek on the trail leads to the cliff dwellings. Just look at how beautiful it is out here. We're approaching the cliff dwellings now. As you can see, they are right there. Look at that good boy. Well, we're here now at the dwellings. We are going to take a look inside. Man, these are incredible. Like these are really beautiful. Such a beautiful area too. All right, we are about to head inside. Very echoey. And there are burbs. Ooh, it's cool in here. Wow, look at this. This is beautiful. Wow, look at this, this is amazing. Beautiful. All right, we are now heading onward. Yeah, yeah, make sure you don't leave Jonathan behind like our other tripods. Yeah, leave Stacy. Thank you. 
the Mogonyon people would begin constructing their cave dwellings around 1260 CE. The naturally formed caves around the upper part of the mountain provided a good place to have a home. It was an area that was easily defensible, surrounded by water and wildlife, and provided good shelter from the weather. These settlers would also engage in agriculture, growing beans, corn, and squash. The Mogonyon people were notably skilled potters as well. Many clay pots would be scattered about the site once it was rediscovered in the 19th century. Up to a dozen families lived within the cliff dwellings. However, it appears they only lived there for a single generation because soon the site would be abandoned. Gosh, this is beautiful. Just take a look at that. That is incredible. It's amazing. Man, this is a beautiful view of such beautiful structures. There's a cold draft coming from in there. Ooh, look at these buildings. What incredible structures. So this is the end of the hiking trail. And wow, this really was an incredible journey. This is a wonderful place. At the beginning of the 14th century, the Gila cliff dwellings would be abandoned it is unclear exactly why its residents left. The site would sit forgotten for thousands of years. It wouldn't be until the 1870s that it would be rediscovered. Settlers looking for new land to claim would make their way through the Gila National Forest. They would come across the dwellings and end up raiding them, taking anything they thought of value which would significantly hurt archaeological excavations in the future. In the early 20th century, the Gila cliff dwellings would become a national monument. In 1962, new archaeological sites were discovered in the area. 273 total acres would be added to the Gila National Monument. The first paved roads would reach the area in 1963 and following that, a permanent park ranger would be stationed near the Gila National Monument. In 1975, the management of the Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument was transferred over to the United States Forest Service. Since then, much has been done to ensure the site is properly maintained, and people can visit it freely and explore its wonders.
The Gila cliff dwellings are an important relic of the local Native American culture. They are a reminder of the people that once were, who lived in these caverns, who called them home, and their story will never be forgotten. Oh, and I don't know where they go When they vanish in the corners of my eyes And I don't know why, I don't know If they stay below the rise up to the sky But I'm letting go I'm letting go It's a history Never really grows. I'm letting go. I'm letting go. Oh, it's a silent wind that never really blows. I'm letting go. It's really crazy that uh, the Native Americans had these uh, these signs everywhere right here. And who knew that they knew that there was going to be a national park here someday? That's crazy. Why do you say the things you do? 